What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel, Action Creature. Um, today we're looking at the SH Monstar it's Singular Point Rodan. Um, I just want to mention too, real quick, in my last video, I mentioned how I would show you guys how I fixed my um, SH Monster Arts Hedora. If you remember, I broke the leg on it and I was pretty sad, but I was able to fix it. So at the end of this video, just stay tuned. I'll show you how I fixed it. But all right, let's get into this figure. Um, so this guy is actually a pretty good Rodan uh, compared to the last Monster Arts Rodan. I actually like the articulation on this one better. It, it gives you a lot more options. Um, compared to the Heisei Rodan though, um, that suit couldn't really move so that figure is good. It, it, it was good for what it is and this is really good actually for what this is too. So um, yeah, first we'll just take a look at um, these little Rodans and then um, we'll get on to the main figure after that. Alright, so uh, these Rodans actually they cannot come off of these wires. Just wanted to mention that so you guys know. But um, we'll just take a close look at this one here. Um, yeah, these actually have a pretty nice detailed little sculpt. Um, as you can see, there really is not much paint to it or anything like that. Um, I'm just assuming these can't come off of here, um, but it really feels like they can't. So, yeah, if you pull them off, you're probably not getting them back on. Well, you probably could get them back on if you glued them or something, but um, I wouldn't take them off. I mean, what else are you going to do with them? And uh, unless you're going to paint them, then, you know, you could take them off. They got a good, good sculpt for being painted, but... Yeah, that's it for those. Obviously, these are all bendy wire and stuff, so you can pose them around. But, yeah, let's get on to the main figure here. So, here is Rodan. And he's looking, actually, pretty awesome. The paint is uh, really nice. I'm glad to see um, Monster Arts kind of turning around and giving us the paint that we need on these figures. Um, as you can see, there's kind of a gradient here, so it goes from like a light tan to the darker brown. All the paint's really clean, nothing sloppy really. Take a look at the head. Head looks really good. The eye is more or less just a black dot on top of a little bit of gold paint. But yeah, it looks all clean. Nothing wrong here. Look at the underside. You can see more of that gradient. Really nice sculpt too. It's got that classic like spiky Rodan chest. And here's our little Rodan feet. And let's just get a look at the inside of the mouth before we get to articulation here. The joint that the mouth is on actually kind of looks like a tongue, so that's cool. Got two rows of teeth. Pretty cool. But yeah, that's all for the paint. So now let's go over articulation. So for the head, it's actually got a really nice range. It, it can go down about this much and look up really far amount. Um, from the side, tilt to the left, tilt to the right. It's got a great range. Um, so for the arms here, this part right here is just a floating joint. And then um, the arms can go, um, they can go up about that much, not very much, but they do go down a lot. So you can get the like kind of flapping look. And then you just kind of adjust this to make sure it's keeping the figure looking, the keeping the arm looking flush to the body. Um, the hand can just swivel, it's not on a ball joint, just swivels all the way around. Um, the arm joint here is on a ball joint. It's a very tiny joint, 
so you get a little bit up a little down but I wouldn't crank it too hard this figure is fragile but it's it came out really nicely so I don't really think you have to worry about anything but you know with the monster arts just always be cautious anyways um, so yeah and it can also rotate on this joint here so you can go all the way up like that if you want um, but the reason why it rotates is so when you push the wing back you can rotate it up and get a, a little bit extra movement for when he's in like a crawling pose and I'll show that in a little bit um, same thing with this one um, let's see if it goes up or down it's a little bit up a little bit down and then it can cut fold in a good amount cool and now on um, the body here there is actually two ball joints one here one here it, it can go a little bit forward it goes a lot back actually so forward back and it has a little bit of pivot um, the bottom one the bottom one can go back so we'll just do all together it goes back about that much crunches forward about that much and then side to side pretty good amount actually now for the legs they can go up all the way let's see out to the side all the way better than a lot of spider-man figures um let me rotate that down okay and then for the feet there's no ankle pivot you don't really need it though it just has a toe joint so the toe goes all the way up and all the way down and yeah you can see the little pin in there but this figure is so small it's really not going to bother you Okay, so let me just get this into a crawling pose just so you guys can see what that looks like since I showed you all the flying pose. Um, when you're getting it into a crawling pose, you want to put the feet as forward as you can. You kind of want to rotate these joints right here as much as you can. Straighten those out, put the feet up. And then you'll curve the body in. And then you'll flap the arms all the way down. Collapse these in, collapse that in. Make the head look up. And then put the arms forward a little bit. I think I put the legs down a little too much. We'll move the arms down like that. Fix the feet. Put the arms a little bit more forward. And there you go. Got Rodan on the ground, looking like he's about to attack. It's pretty cool. I like the versatility of uh, this Rodan, you know. Um, I could try to stand him up like the 90s uh, Rodan, see how that looks. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> standing up okay now I'm gonna do a couple size comparisons so you guys will want to see so you can get an idea of how big this figure is here is the Mafex spider-man he's just a figure that I feel like a lot of people have so there's Mafex spider-man and uh, Here's just the standard Bandai. He's a small boy. Definitely a small boy. 
And then this is a Bandai Titanosaurus, obviously. And now here's the one you'll probably been waiting for. We got the singular point Godzilla. We kind of get everything situated so we can get a good look here at the big boy. There he is. <laughs> you know, the show is uh is alright for what it is, but man, this Monster Arts Godzilla figure looks badass. I do need to watch the show again. The first time I watched it, I only watched it in the you know subtitles, so it'll probably be nice to watch it with the dub on. Help me probably understand it better. So here is Rodan with Godzilla. And that just looks, that looks really good, I think. Okay, so that's it for this review. Um, honestly, really like the Rodan. It came out nice. It's good for what it is. I mean, you know, you can army, army build these things too. It's a pretty cheap figure. I think it was like uh, 50 bucks. I want to say it might have even been less than that. But, um... Yeah, I recommend this figure. It's nice. It's uh, not too fragile or anything. I don't foresee anyone like breaking this figure. It seems pretty sturdy. Um, so yeah, I recommend it. And uh, so now I'm going to get into showing you guys how I fixed my, um, my Monster Arts Hedora. So if you guys aren't interested in that, you can stop watching now. But I'm going to show you guys how I fixed the Hedora figure. All right. So, um, I had a few spares of these, but, um, what I did was the ball joint that I broke on the leg, I went ahead and started sanding one of these down. So it was, uh, one of these really small ones right here. I sanded it down as much as I could to, um, get it to be as close as the ball joint, uh, that the figure came with and it ended up working out. Um, so these are... Mecha Cray ball joints that you can get on Amazon. You could just look up uh, hobby joints and you should be able to find them. Or just look up this right here. And if I remember, I'll just put a link to it in the description. But yeah, these things are really good, especially if you like doing custom action figures, like giving figures that don't have articulation, articulation. But yeah, let me just show you real quick. So, oh, okay, um, as you can see, there's the ball joint in there. Fits in really good. It actually um, is super tight, a lot tighter than uh, what it used to be. Fits in super good. As you can see, yeah, it's pretty tight. And, uh, yeah, it was just pretty much I had to kind of drill out the old ball joint because it was broken off in there and there's no good way to pull it out so if you just kind of drill into a joint it'll break and then you can get it right out and then um, I just had to take that ball and try to sand down those ball joints to match it as close as I could and once I did that it just finally popped in and I was good to go so yep yeah, there's my Hedora fixed um, hope you guys enjoyed the review and y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching.